Welcome to the Morning Wire for Monday, March 29th. I'm Scott McWade. We start the morning with Imperial Petroleum. They are waiting one more month to buy out e-biofuels. The companies have agreed to seal the deal now on April 30th. The original closing date was set for March 31st. Imperial Petroleum's president says all the paperwork will be completed. In the meantime, e-biofuels plant has the capacity to produce 25 million gallons of biodiesel every year. Imperial Petroleum trades on the Bolton boards as IPMN.OB. You, you can now buy and sell shares of Ecomission Solutions. The company just became eligible to start trading on the Bolton boards. Ecoemissions Emissions Reducing Catalyst Injection System offers a global solution for diesel engines. The company also claims it is quickly becoming well known in the mining, shipping and construction industries because it offers significant savings in fuel cost and extends engine life. Eco Emissions is now available as ECMZ. Sino Agro Food has a new website. The organic food provider recently unveiled the site in order to reflect the growth of the company to the investment public. Sino Agro says it continues to add new content with future plans to integrate social media in order to better serve their shareholders. Sino Agro is focusing on developing, producing, and distributing agricultural products in the People's Republic of China in order to meet the increasing demand of China's rising middle class for gourmet and other food items. You can find Sino Agro food trading on the pink sheets as SIAF.pk. Commonwealth Biotechnologies is eyeing one of the largest global suppliers of research grade peptide products. Commonwealth hopes to acquire Shanghai based. GL Biochem in order to become the world's largest supplier of custom peptide synthesis services in the world. Commonwealth expects to make most of their sales to universities, research institutes, and pharmaceutical and biotech companies. Now the value of custom peptides is expected to grow to up to one billion. That's one billion dollars in 2010. Look for Commonwealth Biotech on the bulletin boards as cbte.ob. It won't be long until you can bet it all on 15 Black in Gulfport, Mississippi. Now, Michigan-based gaming resort de developer Rotate Black, that's the name, Rotate Black, has big plans to build a resort and casino over six acres at Marine Life Aquarium's former location. Rotate Black will dock a 30,000 square foot gaming vessel there while they work. It used to be owned by Harrah's. The casino will create more than 450 new jobs when it opens, Rotate Black trades as ROBK.OB. I'm Scott McWade, and that's the Morning Wire. We'll continue bringing you the latest small cap news all day long on publicwire.com.